What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon X Randomizer Egglock. Previously, we left Lavere City. And we'd just been battling a bunch of people on, like, Route 15 to get um, ourselves some experience. Because if our randomizer is correct and not busted in some sense, um, then Olympia's ace should be 58. And right now we're sitting at a team of at least 55s, which is really, really good. Um, and we're doing a little bit of extra work. By extra work, I just mean extra, like, training. We're, we're, we're basically battling people out. Of, we're going out of our way to battle people, which is fine. That's the way I see it, is that it's fine. Because it's, it's free experience. Why would you turn down free experience? Especially in a game like this, where the level booster is 20%, like... It'd be stupid for me to turn turn this stuff down. Alright, file plume. So, I'm trying to think. In terms of... Longest time without a Nuzlocke death. I mean... The... Pokemon Violet um, Surprise Trade Lock. It's probably up there, but I would say because the badge count for that game is very different. And that there's more badges in that game, because spoiler alert, we lost only one Pokemon in that series. And we lost it right before we went to go fight Larry. So I want to say we were... How many badges in were we? Either 8 or 10 badges in. Because, yeah, you would have fought 3 of the Titans, 4 Gym Leaders. And then you would have fought... Three Team Star bases. So yeah, you would have been about 10 badges in. And getting to 10 badges in that game is not not really that hard. Or it doesn't take that long. Like, it takes a little bit of time, but it doesn't take that much time. But right, right now, we're six badges in this game. Halfway to the seven. Probably over halfway to the seventh, actually. And we haven't lost anything. So this might be the longest amount of time before we got a death in the next one. It's possible. I I don't know. I'd have to really go back and look at through look through all my Nuzlocke wounds to make that uh, deduction. And that'd actually be a pretty neat stat. But that would also take so long. That would take so long. I don't know, that'd be pretty that'd be a pretty cool thing to look up. Oh no, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I also haven't thought about, you know, what I do if we don't have any deaths for this series. I haven't really thought about that. But it does make me think, like, if we do beat this game, right, in the randomizer egglock fashion that we have it, that we do need to probably adjust some things. That, that's just what I would think. Is that if we're... Complete, well, I wouldn't say... Like, the game has been easy, but we haven't completely steamrolled everything. And again, we're not, we're not done just yet. But like... It's kind of the same reason why I like doing the Master Modes. Which, Generations Master Mode really hasn't... Uh, 
why the master modes actually are hard. Well, it has it has in some generations. Like if you go back and you watch any of the death montages from Generations Master Mode, you can watch. Honestly, I would recommend either watching Sinnoh or you can watch um, Kalos. Either one of those, you watch and you'll see like, wow, that's how the Master Mode can be just absolutely ruthless. I would say Sinnoh's probably your best bet because that's where we lost the most Mons in Generations Master Mode. I think we lost like 38 and we had to restart we had to restart our game twice because with master modes i like to get myself like a three kind of like a three strikes you're out deal um now there is a reward on the master mode wheel where it says like oh you get an additional life so you do that and i actually implemented that in volt white because I was like, okay, for Drayana ROM hacks, if I'm doing master modes, then I obviously need a little bit more. I need a little bit more of a, a boost because it, those games are hard. But seeing as how many times we were spending the reward wheel and we got it, it made me think, I'm like, okay, we need to. We need to nerf it to some capacity. So we made it to where you only can get two of those per like your master, like your master mode. Because we kept getting that so many times. Like there was a point where I was down to only one life remaining in Volt Light. And then it's like, I skyrocketed to having like four because I just kept pulling that as a reward. And it's like, eh, it's kind of, Kind of not, uh, kind of not worth. Well, I don't want to say not worth, but it doesn't make it, it doesn't make it more interesting. And that's kind of the thing is I'm like trying to make the games more interesting. Like one of the things I was saying with my guys um, in one of the previous Master Mode streams was that I like to have it be like a change of pace. So like, on the wheel, it's like, okay, um, if contest or other things like that are a thing you can do in the game, you know, go do a contest. So it, cha it changes up the, the flow of a video or a stream where it's like, okay, we're not over here stressing about battling and whatnot. It's like, we're gonna go do something different. We have to make sure we do it in within the time that we're given, but like, this is what we have to do. And I even said it to myself, too. It's like, a lot of the stuff on the Master Mode wheel, I don't want to say it's outdated, but it's like, it's very, very situational, so I, I kind of need to freshen it up. And... Make it a little bit more nice and neat. Whilst also trying to add new ideas as well. But yeah, like coming up with new creative challenges for master modes are basically what we're trying to do. New challenges, new rewards, new punishments. Did we just... I know we got paralyzed three times. Has it been more than three times? Like, I seriously have not been able to attack this Manetric. Thank you. And I bet you I one-shot it. What a waste of time.
But yeah, I think I should. I, d I definitely think once we're maybe once we're done with Generations Master Mode, because I would like to do another Master Mode series. But I think we should wait a little bit. Because I know initially I said I was going to do Generations Master Mode, and then I was going to do just like a Pokemon Violet Master Mode, and strictly use just like newer. Just the new Pokemon, so all Paldean stuff and things like that. But like, there's like three other series that I've came up. Actually, there's probably like four ideas that I've came up with for Pokemon series, and that's not including the fact that in a short time we're gonna be starting up our Final Fantasy VII remake uh, live stream series again. So. I said it at the, like the end of the year, we, we were going to be eating, and we are currently doing just that. Like, we are stuck with a bunch of content. Absolutely stuck with a bunch of content. I'm... I'm so glad our DNC is better. It is so much better now, with Moonblast. Diamond Storm. And the fact that it's as bulky as it is. If we had a Mega DNC, we would be absolutely rocking our socks off. I forgot there was a Strength Bowl over here. I'm not going back and grabbing the, the bunny to push it. I'm not doing it. Alright, I'm not making the same mistake like we did in the, the... Not the previous episode, but the episode beforehand. I'm not doing that again. As much as an Earthquake would be nice... Um, where do I go into? I go into you. I guess we'll Dragon Pulse? Really not any other option I can go for. But yeah, I'm, I got plenty of things on the table. I don't know what my next video series for Pokemon is going to be just yet. I have one in mind. I just don't know if I want to execute it just to, like, I don't know if I want to execute it. Or if I want to do something else. Because there's a bunch of Pokemon series that I have that I would not mind doing as, like, a live stream series, but... tell you it's it's difficult coming up with uh decisions of what i should do next but i i'm i am saying i do have a bunch of options lined up We can go to the Frost Cavern. We won't finish all of it today. Actually, we might be able to finish a good amount of it today. Never mind. At the 14 minute mark, there's a little bit of dialogue. I don't know. We'll have to see. We will have to see. I'm going to go heal first, though. And isn't this the town where the move relearner is?
I just blanked on something. Okay, got Scarlet in Scott and Moltres. That's literally like the worst thing you could have for me. Holy shit, never mind. We just went from fighting like 48s to now we're fighting 53s. I mean, don't get me wrong, like everybody in my team is at least 55. I also love that I got flinched off of one air slash. We love we love that for ourselves here. Ampharos. Mega? It is. I mean, Sad Moonblast is going to be stronger. Surely. I think Ampharos might be my fav favorite Mega Evolution. It's either Ampharos or Low Bunny. I don't know, it's, it's close. They're both really good. Both are really good. But I think Lopening might make might make it better. A little bit better than Ampharos in that, like the improvement scale. Like it made Lopening actually like usable. Maybe just maybe. Also, just an FYI, if you play this game and you play it at nighttime, this with the the sky, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. All right, sweet. Sweet. What do you got? A plusle? Fifty-five. Okay. Went for thunder and missed. God. I've been on that end before. <clears throat> I've been on that end before. Hate when that happens. I mean, not on the end of only bringing one Pokemon and that one Pokemon being a Fussel and against a, a DNC and a God Squad, but. I have been on that end where I go for one move, and that one move is the move that I need to hit, and it doesn't hit. Actually happens a lot to me in Wi-Fi battles. Which is a pain. Alright, Stunfisk. Hmm. Maybe just go for Earthquake. I mean, I guess I could have locked myself in Battle Dance. He lit. That's insane. That's insane that he lived that. Algae. Okay. I mean, let's go ahead and test out Aurora because Aurora learned Ice Beam. 
That's that's pretty good. I know Dragalge is a pretty special defensive mon, but Protean Ice Plume. I, mean, I don't think Protean really makes that much of a difference. I was gonna say it's gonna eat it up regardless. It goes for Toxic. But you ate, you ate that up even better than I thought you would. I thought you would have lived on, like, one. Is it possible that Gouji got, like, multi-skill or something? Or filter. Or solid rock. It could have gotten any of those abilities. Because people sleep on filter. And solid rock. What do we got now? Brick Tomb. The god of all Pokemon. Wait, this thing's actually higher level than both her other moms. That's funny. That's actually hilarious. Fifty nine for Tyson. second yeah we just let him do this guys dms basically isn't there isn't there something up above like an item or something okay torterra this is actually horrible for my team holy cow this thing is super effective against five of my six team members And I know, I know that he's got Earthquake right now. Woodhammer he might not have, but he also might have. He went for Crunch. So you went for, so you went for the move that wasn't super effective. on the Deancy. You know, the AI does it to itself sometimes. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say on that matter. Unless, I mean, I guess there's a chance that Earthquake got overwritten, but still, why would you not go for a, a, a grass? Got me, man. Got me. Muck. Yeah, we need some. We need some stuff to go on. Some of these typhoons, man. I know I could have went into Tyson. Because Tyson has freeze dry. It also has aerial eight. Hyper Voice and also had Flamethrower, but if I'm if I swapped in on an Earthquake, there was every chance that that could eat, that could have one shot our Pyroar. Even if the Torterra was ten levels lower, there's a chance that that could have one shot us, and I wasn't willing to take that gamble. Not at this point. I'm playing way too good to make a silly mistake. There's an item up here. It's a splash plate. Wow. All right, I think Deancey has had enough shine. <laughs> it has, it literally went from being our lowest level to caught up. 
but like just let's let's get let's get someone else a little bit of shine like You have to hit this and then that, and then I think there's like two different battles here. This is a double battle. Septile and Guard of. I almost said Guard of Her. Garbode. Okay, so. Let's see. I mean, we obviously. Well. No, we obviously go for Ice Beam on the Sceptile. Or do we go for Oblivion Wing? Because if the Sceptile outspeeds us and attacks the Aurorus... Ooh, you tricky... You tricky dude. Because now that makes us a Flying type. So now his Grass type moves aren't very effective. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, it's going for the agility. Buddy, you're not taking this hit. I hate to be that guy. I hate to be that guy, but you are not taking that hit. Also, no idea why my Citra's running at 9 frames per second right now. Not a clue. Nothing crazy really happened there. Go for another Dragon Pulse and another Oblivion Wing. You know, Gudra is apparently the fastest thing in the world. Again, that, our Gudra outsped a Sceptile. Maybe Sceptile isn't as fast as I thought. But even then, I Gudra's like base 80 speed. Like he's he's not slow, but he's not insanely fast either. I don't know, man. I must have like max speed uh EVs. For Gudra. Just the fact that this thing is outspeeding some of the things that it's outspeeding. I get it. Levels do play a little bit of a difference. It's about... I don't know. It'd be about 10 points or more difference. But even then... I... But even then... Snatch. You thought I was going for a setup move? Silly. I'm using the rain that uh, you decided to put up. Miss Magius. This sucks, because we don't have any ghost or dark type moves on our team. And you're a... You're a special wall. But I want to say... Dragon Pulse might be be the play? I don't know. It's special defense is pretty good. Yeah. But it actually shouldn't have any time because it's a stone though. I just realized that. Yeah. I just realized that right now. It's gone for spite. Now he just got rid of all of my Dragon Pulse PP, which is bad. I mean, Dragon Pulse but that is staff for him. And Gudra... <sighs> because we did the wrong nature, it's... It's, str it's struggling. It is struggling. But... It's not, it's not horrible. It's not horrible. But that is going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button down below. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. Um, we, we got a bunch of different things we got going on, like Generations Master Mode and Super Mario Wonder. Highly recommend you check those out if you do like what you see from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.